On today's installment of the HTFL, Seattle travels to Denver for another Week 1 contest. Fall day in Denver, Colorado at Sports Authority Field, 67 degrees, a very light wind. You see the principals there, Pete Carroll roaming the sidelines for Seattle. Mike Shanahan, who took the Broncos to a couple Super Bowls in the late 90s for Denver. Russell Wilson and John Elway talk about a quarterback matchup of mixed errors. You're going to see it right here. Seattle won the toss, chose to receive. We got Lockett back for the Hawks. And a nice return. He'll take it out to the 37. A first and 10 for there for the Seahawks. Alexander and Williams are running backs. Largent and Blades starting at wideouts. Carlson to tight end. Russell Wilson at quarterback. Jones, Hutchinson, Unger, Kendall, and Heck. Your offensive line will set the Denver defense in just a moment right after this first and 10 play. And it's a pickup of eight yards before Randy Gratishar could uh, make the tackle on Williams. And that's John L. Williams, and that was good for eight, second, and two. The defense for Denver, as promised. Price and Dummerville are your defensive ends. Smith and Tom Jackson at defensive tackle. Miller, Gratishar, and Mecklenburg, your uh, linebackers. Defensive backfield is Harris Jr., Wright, Atwater, Thompson. Second and two. Holding offense number 60. Ten yard penalty. A bad play that got worse for Seattle as they lose a yard on a run to Alexander on the right side. Then they get called for holding. So the result of all that is a second and 12 play. Daryl Jackson entering the game for the Seahawks. And the ball will be at their own 36. That was a run up the middle by Sean Alexander. He picked up five. Smith brought him down. Third and seven. A screen pass. Uh, Alexander was just short of the first. Miller got to him. Vaughn Miller. So Denver, barring a turnover, will get it on a punt. This is going to land inside the 15. Go we'll for a fair catch. Just play it safe. Very early in the game, and we do. Setting the Denver offense for you before we get this first play underway. It's Davis and Humphrey, Bobby Humphrey at running back. Smith and Taylor, your wide receivers to start off. Shannon Sharp at tight end. Elway out of Stanford at quarterback, who is nearly a Baltimore Colt, but said he wasn't going to play for the Colts, and the rest was history. Your offensive line, Clady, Bishop, Nalen, Neal, and Alepsis. A first and ten. We're going to give it to Davis, Terrell Davis, on a trap right. Davis had that fine year that the uh, Broncos finally broke through and won their first Super Bowl, Super Bowl uh, number 31. And then Elway ended his career the next year winning the uh, 32nd Super Bowl. It was Super Bowls 32 and 33, I should say. I beg your pardon. Uh, one they beat Green Bay, and then the next year they beat Atlanta. Anyway, back at the ranch, it's going to be a second and ten. Let's hit the defense for you before I call play uh, for Denver here. Green, Sinclair, Kennedy, and Nash are going to be your front four. Brown, Wagner, Wright, your linebackers. Sherman, Brown, Easley, Robinson, your defensive backfield. Screen pass to Bobby Humphrey. Out of the University of Alabama. That's incomplete. Didn't see, oh, Wagner got pressure on him, Mr. Wagner. And let's look at him out of Utah State and played on that Legion of Boom defensive squad uh, that took the uh, Seahawks to their only Super Bowl win. They have one Super Bowl under their belt, Denver with two, even though they were in many more in the 80s and early 90s. Got to be a third and ten now. Three wide receivers, three wide receivers. We're going to go to Taylor, Lionel Taylor on a medium out. 
once I get the play call. And that's good. Pick up a 14. Springs pushes him out. There's going to be a Upon challenge. For the review, the ball touched the ground before being secured. And an incomplete. incomplete pass. No timeout will be charged. And there you saw it, folks. Seattle using their sole challenge of the game. You could challenge any score. Any any score, any turnover will be challenged by the boof. If, if they need to look at it, they will look at it some more. But each team will get one challenge to use in, in um, any other situation that they choose. So it's a 4th and 10. Denver will punt. Here is Bob Scarpedo. He's back at his own goal line. Nice return for Lockett. Who gets 10? It'll be first and 10 at the 48. Wilson. Late blitz. Led by Miller and Mecklenburg. Could not find Alexander. Second and 10. Another incomplete pass. Looking for Blades on that last play. Let's take a look at him out of the uh, University of Miami. Had a brother, Benny, who was a defensive back. Third and ten now for the Seahawks. Loss of a yard. Uh, a screen to John L. Williams tipped by Harden. Of course, Seattle and Denver used to play in the AFC West together until the realignment of 2002, which moved Seattle permanently to the NFC West, at least up until now, as I record this in 2020. Here's the punt. And it's going to be inside the 15 again. Another fair catch. And this is fair caught at the 10 by Rick Upchurch, who played on the 70s teams for Denver and is a threat to go all the way anytime he touches the ball. Terrell Davis, sweep right. Denver tries to establish a running game. A fumble on the play, which the referees did not see, so the play will stand as a six-yard gain. Second down and four will go to Smith on a slant. Seattle may be playing man. Incomplete. That sets up a third down and four. And what will they do here? How about Shannon on a short hitch? Elway runs, but not holding. enough for the Offense, first. Offense, number 78. And it would have come back on a holding call anyway. Fourth in a yard. Denver is not going to go for it at their own 19. They will punt. Scarpetto back deep again for the Broncos. Lock it again. Seven yards on the return. Ball at the 45 for a first and 10. Both teams having trouble moving the ball so far. And Alexander caught that one in the flat. Knocked out by Gratishar for a gain of three. Going to be second and seven now at the 48. This time it was Alexander on a draw play, but Gratishar on him like a bad cold. Tackles him for a yard gain. Third down and six now for the Seahawks. Pass incomplete. Looking for Carlson. Good coverage downfield. So again, Denver gets it back on a punt. This is a Radio City Music Hall kind of game so far. A lot of one, two, three, and kicking. Humphrey will get it on a pitch to the right. Nothing there. Wright pulls him down for the Seahawks. They'll be second and ten. They'll go to three wide receivers, try to shake things up a little bit. Brandon Marshall on a medium hitch. Elway scrambles, only picks up a yard. Third and nine. Here we go again. Shotgun formation this time for Denver. They're going to go medium pass, and they're going to look for Thomas. It's caught. First down. Brown on the tackle. So that moves it out to the 33. We'll go Davis again. Pitch to the right. That's a nice game. Sorry for that scratch there. Nash on the tackle. 
Eight yard pickup, second down and two. I'm gonna go long pass play action here to Taylor. And Taylor's got the deep ball and a completed pass. Brown on the stop, and that's a gain of 28. I believe that is Lionel Taylor out of New Mexico Highlands who played on those early 60s Broncos teams, those funky uniforms they had. First and 10 now at the Seahawk 31. We're going to go Davis, trap right. And a nice gain for Terrell Davis of 16 yards. We'll go short out to Shannon Sharp. Touchdown! Shannon Sharp, the brother of Sterling Sharp, who is playing on the HTFL Green Bay team, gets the first points for Denver in HTFL play. Here's the point after. That was by McManus. It's good. And your score is 7 nothing. Lock it back for the Seahawks to accept the kickoff. We have 2.51 left opening quarter. That ball is mile high, appropriately enough for Denver. And it's going to be a touchback. First and 10 at the 20 for the Seahawks. Big play there. Smith making the sack. He's at a USC, and he played on those 80s teams. Going to be second down and 16 now for Seattle. Pass incomplete. This time, Wilson was looking for Steve Largent, one of the original Seattle Seahawks. Going to be a third and 16 now, as Seattle having all kinds of trouble moving the ball. Only 17 yards of offense so far. That was Scrattershaw on the tackle on a four-yard pickup. And let's take a look at Scrattershaw, as Alexander picked up for. Out of Ohio State, played uh, in those late 70s, early 80s teams. Anyway, a second and six ball at the 36. Eighteen yards as Wilson finds Carlson again, and that will be the end of the first quarter. Your score seven nothing Denver. We move on to the second quarter. Denver uh, now uh, backing up a little bit as Seattle has found Denver territory for the first time in this game. A first and ten from the forty-six. Hut, hut. Appwater got a hand on that one. As Largent was the intended receiver, but it looked like Wilson was throwing in the double coverage on a long hitch. So, nothing doing there. A second and ten. Wilson scrambles and has a first down at the 34. Thompson on the tackle. We'll have our next play from there. Largent was the intended receiver, but Wright, Louis Wright, was there to uh, provide good pass defense. He's out of San Jose State. Going to be a second and ten from the 34. Alexander tries the left side and picks up three. Third and seven. Alexander on a screen pass, and that's incomplete. John L. Williams was injured, so Sherman Smith will enter the game uh, should Williams not be able to do so uh, when they next get the ball. Right now it's going to be a 48-yard field goal try, and it's good. That was Brown getting that, Josh Brown, and it's 7-3, Denver leading with 11, 13.02 left until halftime. Denver will get it next, barring a, uh, barring a turnover on the kickoff. Here's Rick Upchurch at the deep man. It doesn't go to him. It goes instead to 
Drones, Ruben Drones, picks up 40 yards on the return. Nicely done for Denver. Trail Davis, pitch right. Hot. No game. Drilled by Sinclair. It's going to be now second and 10 from the 43. How about Sterling Shard on a slant? Sharp on a slant. Instead, Elway dumped it off to Davis. Easily tweaked his knee, it appears. They say he'll be back in a few plays. So after that five-yard gain, it's a third and five. Taylor, short hitch. Hot. There. That's an 11-yard pickup for Taylor. That way now, five out of eight, 76 yards. Taylor, two catches, 39 yards. A first and 10 for Denver at the 41 of Seattle. Sweep right, Terrell Davis. See if he salutes this. Pick up a 13 before Wright could get him. And it's a first and 10 at the 28. Double tight end formation. Medium pass, play action. Smith. We're going to fool him thinking we're going to run it, but we're going to throw it. But Elway has plans of his own. He scrambles for five. That's easily. Knocks him down at the 23. Second and five now at the 23 for Denver. They lead seven to three on the scoreboard. How about a trap right with Terrell Davis? First down. Brown on the tackle. That moves it to the 17. And it's going to be a first and 10 from there. Sharp. Short cross, but a penalty. False start. Offense, number 82. Five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. It was the guy they were going to give the ball to, Sharp. And it'll be first and 15. We're going to go a screen pass of some sort. Two. Let's see. Taylor. A wide receiver screen. And it's good for six yards. Brown on the tackle for the Seahawks. Second and nine from the 16. Pitch right, Terrell Davis. That picks up six. A third and three now. Humphrey. Uh, we're going to give it to Smith on a slant. Rod Smith. Incomplete pass. So Denver will kick, pad the lead to 10 to 3 with this from McManus, which is good. And your score was 725 left till halftime. 10 3 Denver. Here's Lockett back deep for Seattle. Took that well up behind his end zone, behind the goal line. And it's a 37 yard return out to the 32. Sherman Smith entering the game for Seattle. And he will be adorning number 47. You see him there. First and 10. Gratishar. Makes the tackle. A pickup of five yards uh, by, let's see, that was to Smith. Sherman Smith, who had just entered the game. It's now going to be a second and five. I think I said that already. Pick up a three. Smith on a tackle, off tackle to the left. Third and two now. Ball to 40. Not a first down, though. As uh, Duberville, Dumerville, got him before he could get first down yardage. Set up for the return. And they punt away from Upchurch. Only a 33 yard punt for Ryan. And that's going to set up Denver at their own 27 with a first and 10. Looking to pad their lead. It's Davis. And Davis gets back to the line. How about Humphrey? Off tackle to the right. No, nothing there. Three wide receivers. Man in motion. We're going to go medium pass. 
to Rod Smith. A marker down. Holding offense number 54. Count it anyway. Penalty. So a three and out for Denver. Scarpetto back to punt. Nice punt, 45 yards. Lockett makes a fair catch. 3.30 left to go until halftime now. Still a 10-3 score. Here's Seattle with the ball. Carlson with another catch. And Carlson's had a very busy day. Three carries. Three catches for 53. Wilson, 7 for 14 on the day for 67 yards. A first and 10 for Seattle at their own 45. Pitch to Alexander. And Alexander's got room. Gratishar finally gets him at the 30, after, but not before Alexander picks up 25 yards. Let's take a look at Alexander real fast. He's out of the University of Alabama. Played on that uh, Seattle team that made Super Bowl 40, but lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Going to be a first and 10. Ball to Bronco 30. Pitch to Sherman Smith. No game. And we're not calling timeouts. And I think Seattle's going to let it go to the two-minute warning. They do. So it's still 10-3, to Denver leading. Here's your second and 10 play. Ball at the 30. Wilson scrambles, and they get the first down. Denver does not want to use a timeout. Let Seattle burn their timeouts. Each team has all theirs left. Minute 47 with a clock rolling here towards the end of the first half. The no huddle. Not all that effective for Seattle as Alexander sweeps right and finds nothing. Denver not using a timeout. And again, neither does Seattle. They stay in the no huddle. A screen to Alexander. A forced fumble. Atwater. Radishar forced a fumble at Atwater with room to run. He ran it 55 yards back. And with 58 seconds to go, Seattle's got it at the 29 of Seattle. They have all three timeouts left. So they're going to go over the middle to Brandon Marshall. But it's intercepted. Back-to-back -back turnovers on back-to-back -back plays, and Richard Sherman picks up his first interception of the season. So Seattle's got it right back. First and 10 at the 41 with 49 seconds to go. Wilson will scramble and picks up a first down. That'll mark it at the 48. And Seattle finally using one of their timeouts. They have two left, 39 seconds to go. Incompleted pass. Looking for blades. Second and 10, ball to 48. <laughs> Gradish are already at 10 tackles on the day, and we're not out of the first half yet. It's going to be third and nine, and Seattle burns another timeout. They have one left with 23 seconds to go. Screen pass incomplete. Ball to 47 for a fourth and nine. We're going to let the punt roll. Goes out of bounds at the 5, but we're just going to get on out of here and call it a half. Davis up the middle, picks up 3. We're not going to call a timeout, but Seattle calls their last timeout. Elway will just take a knee. That'll be the half. So at halftime, your score, Denver 10, Seattle 3. And hello there once again, everybody. Big Polly coming to you, ready for the start of this second half. Between Denver and Seattle, a quiet first half with Denver leading 10 to 3 at the end of 30 minutes. Denver with 148 yards of total offense. So does Seattle with 148 yards. They have the same number. Russell Wilson, 9 out of 18, 72 yards. John Elway, 6 out of 12, 82 yards. He threw an interception to go along with his touchdown pass. Running the ball, about even there too. Seattle, 13 of 82. Denver 16 to 66. 
Denver gets the ball to start the second half. So they lost the toss to start the game. It'll be Upchurch back. Halftime refreshments via Chex Mix and Coca-Cola. And Upchurch brings it back 22 yards. Williams on the tackle. Denver will start from the 27. Davis off tackle right. Davis with a four-yard game. That was Sinclair who brought him down. Take a look at Sinclair real fast on the, one of the, the late 90s teams. Uh, Seattle had, he's out of eastern New Mexico. That was back when the late years of Seattle being in the AFC West. Back when Seattle and Denver would play each other twice. And in this upper west division of the HTFL, they will also be playing each other twice. 14.45 left. We're just beginning the third quarter. We're going to go Davis on a screen pass. That's good. Oh, Davis with room. 37 yards. Brown finally brought him down at the 32. The first and ten. Trap right. No, we're not going to go to Davis this time. How about Sharp on a medium plot, a uh, medium fly with play action? Hut, hut. That way, can't find Shannon Sharp. Incomplete. Second and ten now. I want to keep giving Davis a breather. We're going to give it to Humphrey on a screen. And screen, the screen works, but it's a two-yard loss. Humphrey not having a good day. Two, uh, two carries, no yards. One catch for minus two. Third and 12. Three wide receiver set. We'll go to Taylor, medium hitch. Marker down. Bishop was Roughing injured. the passer. Defense. Number 72. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. But Seattle will give Denver a break as Nash was called for roughing the passer as he hits John Elway late. We'll take a look at Nash real fast. Out of Boston College. Played on Seattle in the 80s. First and 10 for Denver at the 19. We'll go Marshall on a slant. <laughs> Oh, and Nash got him. But Sinclair was hurt. And was Elway. And Elway will stay in the game to shake it off. Sinclair will do likewise for Seattle. A second and 18. Ball to 27. We're going to screen it to Davis. Davis nearly gets all the yards back. Robinson on the tackle. Ball to 12. It'll now be a third and three. Go double tight ends. We'll leave one running back in the game. Odoms, Riley Odoms, will get it on a short hitch. Or so we hope. <laughs> Caught for four yards, but there's Illegal a penalty. Illegal motion. Offense. And it's coming number back. Number 80, five-yard penalty. Denver will have to do it again on a third and eight. We'll go Smith. Medium hitch. Hut. Not there. An incomplete pass. So fourth and four now. At the 17, that'll set up a 34-yard field goal for Brandon McManus. Nice Irish name. But he misses it. Pushed it off to the right. No good. So Seattle with new life. They only trail by seven and score 10 to three. A first and 10 from there at the 24. <laughs> Incomplete, intended for Sherman Smith. Gratishar on the coverage. Gratishar having an excellent game defensively for Denver. Second and ten at the 24. Pickup of 12 is Smith, Sherman Smith. Uh, extends it out to the 36 for a first down. Sherman Smith uh, just entering the game in the second half. I think he was in for a play in the first two. Rushes for three yards. Three catches for 18 yards. And on that 70s Seattle club, uh, he was a he was a workhorse for them. 
first and ten now at the 36. <laughs> Give to Smith again, and that time Wright brought him down at the 40 after a four-yard gain. Second and six. <laughs> Off tackle left to Alexander, and that's two yards. Cuts it to a third and four. A first down, Sherman Smith again. Six yard game. Now four, ca uh, four catches for 24 yards. Ball to 48 for this first and 10 play. 11 yard pickup as Wilson dumped it off to Smith and Sherman Smith racking up the catches. Ball now to 41 of Denver for a first and 10. And a touchdown! And we are one point away from a dead even game. Wilson was dinking and dunking the ball, and then when he threw it deep to Largent, the Denver defense got caught unaware. Here's the extra point try. Good. Josh Brown put it through, and your score now dead even 10 to 10. Upchurch, ready to receive the kickoff. Returnable, and out to the 38. We're going to go Davis off tackle to right. That's a nice game. Terrell Davis, 20 yards. He is now at 12, cat, uh, 12 carries, 82 yards, 3 catches, 57. We're going to go a fade pass. Oh, wait, hang on. That's the replay of the last play that you just saw. Well, a fade, no, a medium out to Lionel Taylor. And it's a dump off to Davis, who picks Offsides. up 11. Defense, number 72, five-yard penalty. Sides against Seattle will be declined. A first and 10 at the 31, Davis off tackle right. Richard Sherman came up to tackle. Ball to 23 for a second and two. We're going to go Elway this time on a bootleg. But it's not there. No gain. A third and two. Double tight end. We're going to go Davis off tackle right. 84% chance of making the play, and he does. For a first down, I should say. So move it to the 16 of Seattle, late in the third quarter, a 10-10 tie, at least for the moment. We're going to send Odoms out wide and give it to Davis, trap right. Good for two yards, right on the tackle. We'll go to Lionel Taylor on a medium slant. But right there to sack him. Sacks Elway. Two-yard gain turns into a two-yard loss on the preceding play. How about a third and ten from the 16? Four wide receivers, shotgun formation, medium pass to Thomas. Not there. Thomas being Demarius Thomas out of Georgia Tech. Played on that Denver team that won Super Bowl 50 with Peyton Manning at the helm. So it's field goal time. Brendan McManus, about a 68% chance from hitting one from 33 yards out. Although he just missed the one from similar range and he just missed this one. So two missed field goals for McManus. And we're still at a 10-10 score. A minute 23 left. Seattle now the ball first and 10 at their own 23. Hi. Offsides, defense, number 97, five-yard penalty. It will be wiped out by a penalty. Uh, Jackson, and it will be first and five. A ball at the 28. Sherman Smith, four yards. Off tackle left. Jackson on the tackle. Smith now, four carries, 11 yards, five catches for 35. Sean Alexander... The rushing leader with eight for 40, three catches for 14. 
Second and one. Smith, not there. Loses a yard. Price on the tackle. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Your score, Seattle 10, Denver 10. We start the fourth quarter now. Third and two. Ball at the 31. A screen to Sherman Smith. That's another 14-yard pickup for Smith. Six catches for 49 yards out of, out of him, and he has only been regularly playing in this game since the start of the second half. So now, a first and ten, ball to 45 for Seattle. Their own 45. Smith up the middle, seven yards. Moves it into Denver territory at the 48 for a second and three. Loss of two. Alexander tackled by Mecklenburg. Take a look at Mecklenburg, he's out of Minnesota, played on those 80s great teams. Great teams of the 80s. Denver made a bunch of Super Bowls. They made Super Bowl 21, Super Bowl 22, and then Super Bowl 24. They made three Super Bowls in four years, but couldn't win any of them. Then they came back, won Super Bowl 32 and 33. John Elway's last year is with the Broncos. He is now uh, their general manager, I believe, or owner, one of the two. Anyway, third and five, ball exactly at midfield. Encroachment, defense, number 97, five-yard penalty. A nice screen to Smith, who evaded a couple of tacklers and picked up 13. Thompson finally pushed him out. The penalty against Denver will be nullified as the yardage was good enough for the first. Seattle threatening now, ball the 37, first and 10. And this was a short pass to Blades, and he picks up 13 yards. Harris Jr. got to him. Ball 24, first and 10. Alexander, off the right side, five yard gain. Carlson, the tight end, uh, was injured. They say he'll be back in a few plays. Jeremy Stevens is going to come in to spell him. It'll be a second and five at the 19. Wilson scrambles a first down. Grandishar now. Grandishar had 15 tackles on the day. That'll make it first and goal at the nine. Seattle looking for that go-ahead score. A 10-10 tie. 11-20 left in regulation. Ball to nine. Penalty. False start. Offense, number three, five-yard penalty. Russell Repeat. Wilson. First down. Called for the head fake. First and goal now from the 14. Incomplete pass. Carlson, Wilson's target on that. Atwater deflected it. Second and goal. Oh, that was dropped. That was dropped. Carlson had it. Juggled it and lost it like Jackie Smith did in Super Bowl thirteen for Dallas against Pittsburgh. Bless his heart, he's got to be the sickest man in America. Third and goal. Ball to 14. Another incomplete pass, so Denver stymies the Seattle threat. Here's the field goal try for Brown, and it's good. Seattle has battled back and has taken a 13 to 10 lead with a little over 10 minutes left till re uh, end the regulation. Here's Upchurch back for Denver, and it's gonna looks like it's gonna be three yards behind the goal line. He's gonna run it out, but I hope he gets to the 20, and he does. 31 yard gain to get it out to the 28. We're going to go Davis off tackle right. A pickup of three, and he goes over 100 yards on the day. One, 16 carries. So, Terrell Davis. Always be counted on for a good game when he was playing back in the day. We'll go Smith, medium slant. And Smith's got it. Sherman on the tackle. Gain of 17. 
We see Richard Sherman playing for uh, San Francisco, if we ever get playing again. A first and 10 at the 48. Davis, off tackle right. Gain of six. K.J. Wright with 10 tackles on the day. Ball the 46 of Seattle for a second and four. We'll go medium fly to Rod Smith. Elway scrambles, and it's a first down, and a little more than that, 14 yards. Here's the profile of John Elway. Out of Stanford. Also could have played professional baseball. And right now, a first and 10 at the 32. We'll go Davis. Sweet right. Oh, and Seattle gets penetration on that right side. And Sinclair makes the tackle for a loss of three. Second and 13. Marshall, medium hitch. Incomplete. Okay. How about a medium pass plus route to Thomas? It's going to be a long field goal if he doesn't make it. And he didn't make it. So, it's going to, we're going to try one from 52. Marshall, McManus, I should say. Brandon McManus. He's missed his last two kicks. Will he make this one? No. No good. And now Seattle in the driver's seat with 6.13 to go, leading 13 to 10. First and 10 at the 42. Wilson tries a bootleg, hammered by Smith for no gain. Second and 10. Pick up a 16 yards. Wilson to Jackson, tackled by Smith. Ball now out to the Denver 42 for another first and 10 play. Alexander gets back to the line, and that's all. 434 left in the fourth quarter. Second and 10. Incomplete. 346 now to go. A third and 10. Denver needs a stop. They do not get one. Carlson with a 34 yard gain down to the eight. And it's almost lights out time for Denver if they if Seattle gets another touchdown. 333 to go, first and goal at the eight. Mecklenburg with a sack. Denver not calling timeout just yet. Second and goal from the 10. Alexander to the right side, no gain. And no sense in calling timeout because the clock will go to the two minute warning. Third and goal from the 10. Incomplete, looking for Largent. And that'll stop the clock for Denver for them. At a minute 54, a field goal would make it a six point lead. Brown from 27. This is it. Oh, boy. How about this, folks? I see in missed field goals left and right in this mile high air. Wind not a factor in this game. Only a very light breeze. So I think you're going to see a lot of throwing here from Elway. Sharp. Medium out. They got him. Pick up of 24. With a minute 42 to go. He got out of bounds. Marshall, short out. Elway scrambles, picks up four yards. They used their first time out here with a minute 37 to go. Second and six. Again, three wide receivers, a shotgun formation. They go in motion. Marshall, medium out. And that's good. Eight yard gain. A first down. Got out of bounds. Minute 29 on the clock. Smith, medium fly. Incomplete pass. That's two drops on the day for Brandon Marshall. A second and 10 coming up. Taylor, medium out. That's good. Knocked out of bounds after a pickup of 14. So Denver 
with a minute 20 to go, they got good field position. We're going to go Davis screen. And that's good for 12 yards. Ball to the 18 now. They'll go no huddle. Sharp. Short hitch. Incomplete. That stops it with 53 ticks left on the clock. Four wide receivers now in the game for Denver. Thomas, medium out. Incomplete. We now have 50 seconds left. A third and ten. Pivotal play. Ball to the 18. Three, three wide receivers now back in the game. As Sharp comes in at tight end. We're going to go Taylor. Slant. Hot. Touchdown. Lionel Taylor. Gives Denver the lead with 41 seconds to go. Now with Manis missing uh, a bunch of field goals today, this extra point is critical. He gets it. 17-13, Denver leading. So Seattle will have time for one last gasp. <gasps> Lock it back deep. Taken just inside the goal line, out to the 25 after a 27-yard return. Kurt Warner... Not the quarterback, but the running back out of Penn State will enter at running back. Joey Galloway will enter the game at wide receiver as uh, Seattle will try desperately to get down to them. Get a touchdown to win the game here with 33 ticks on the clock. they got to go 75 yards. <laughs> Screen to Warner, drop the pass, second and ten. <laughs> Wilson throws long. Intercepted. Intercepted by Thompson. Bill Thompson, and that should do it. Now, the problem is, Seattle still has all of their timeouts left, so we're going to play it safe and have LA kneel it and see if they'll use a timeout. They do. Two left. Then it really doesn't matter what play I run. We're going to go Davis off tackle right. Hope we don't fumble. Just play it safe. Seattle calls the timeout. They have one left. How about Elway on a bootleg just to chew up some clock? Eight yards, a first down, and that's your game. Denver could not kneel on it because Seattle still had the complement of all of their timeouts, so they just got creative and just ran the ball for a bit. Making sure uh, a few seconds here and a few seconds there run off the clock. And your final score, Denver 17, Seattle 13. And that's your game, folks. Not a lot of scoring today, but it was a good one. Denver needing a uh, dramatic drive, and John Elway always brought the drama when he played. Uh, an 18-yard pass to Lionel Taylor to end matters. Uh, Seattle losing in the last few moments. Your score was 17-13. So Denver and San Francisco will go to 1-0 in the Upper West. San Francisco beat Kansas City 38-21 in the very first HTFL game that we played to start off week one. We have three games left in week number one. San Diego and Arizona will be next, followed by Las Vegas at Los Angeles. The Ironmen playing the Rams. New York Giants will travel to New England and take on the Patriots on Monday night. So I hope you enjoyed today's game. Once again, our final was Seattle losing to Denver 17-13. to We wish you all well, uh, wherever you may be and whenever you may be listening. Catch you real soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.